welcome to Love Where You Live, a monthly magazine of the wonderful things happening in Sheboygan County, the things that we believe you should know about so that you can either participate or you can brag a little because there are a lot of good things going on. This morning I have as my guest Jim Schusler, who is with the Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation and I'm glad to have him here. There is a lot going on, isn't there, Jim? Absolutely. I wouldn't trade places with anybody else in America for what we have to offer here in Sheboygan County. Wow, that's saying a lot. It and is. you know, I, I see people all the time outside of our county who say, what is going on there? How can that much activity be happening in Sheboygan? So that's why you're here as our guest today. We're gonna to talk a little bit about that. From where you sit, Jim, what's the number one priority for the Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation? Well, we've got one priority, but Betsy, I've got to break it into four parts. Okay. And those four parts are workforce, attraction, uh, expansion uh, opportunities, as well as uh, entrepreneurial for first and second stage. Workforce, uh, you know, a bit on that is, is that we've got more jobs available than we have people. The awesome thing is, is we've got a great place to draw them to. And so it's required us to actively draw people from the outside. Mm -hmm. When we typically talk about workforce, people think the skills gap, and we have that here. We certainly need to bring in skilled folks, but we also have an opportunity that most areas of the country don't have to offer, and that is, is entry level opportunities where someone without any skills can walk into a job, um, get trained for that job, and then uh, they, they're earning about thirty-five to $40,000 here uh, with yeah. phenomenal benefits. And we have multiple companies that offer that. So it's a surprising thing that we have to, uh, to, to make them aware of. The attraction area is, is uh, specific to drawing in all, and filling in all the gaps right. that we have. For example, all of the apartment uh, buildings that are in development right now, some of them are just coming through the end of the pipeline. Mm -hmm. Some of them are still getting ready to get a shovel mm -hmm. into the ground. But all over the county, we're going to be seeing about 900 units all in over the course of this 18-month wow. period here. And it's because we don't have enough housing to, uh, to, uh, to provide the housing necessary for the folks that have been moving in here. Mm -hmm. Plus, some of the housing uh, that's being developed is offering different kind of amenities that uh, that other that, that folks that didn't necessarily grow up in Sheboygan County right. are looking for. Uh, the alternative is is those folks that have been moving to Grafton, Cedarburg, and commuting to Sheboygan, Port Washington, even Manitowoc County, um, because we didn't have the housing that they wanted or enough of the housing. And it even goes into single family housing. Right. Uh, of of late Manitowoc uh, Manitowoc County, of which is has been declining. Mm -hmm. Uh, the job market has been declining month after month. Um, their housing market is skyrocketing, and the hypothesis is is because we're virtually out of homes uh, for sale in Sheboygan County that people are gravitating there, and so uh, so we need to completely uh, exploit that because if people can can do without a commute, let's let's deliver that for them. Um, expansion opportunities. The most recent one that was announced was Masters Gallery. Um, and we've constantly got to be ready for our great local uh, companies' mm -hmm. uh, expansion opportunities. They had looked at Texas, they looked at Colorado, and working with multiple stakeholders, we were able to put together a plan. Lewisburg did a great job of, uh, of, of ruling that one home, mm -hmm. and now we've got a new production facility breaking ground in Lewisburg. And then the final area is something we've only been working on since about 2014, and playing a little catch-up as a result is, is entrepreneurial activity. And that's first stage, somebody wants to start an entry-level business, but it's also the second stage businesses. Uh, some of them that we recently worked on, Three Sheeps Brewery, when they moved from Hops Haven into uh, the former right. Coke facility is, is someone that we engaged with them, helped them with their, with their business plan, built up their financials, worked with them on the financing strategies, and we've got a lot of second stage in the pipeline right now. So that's the one thing. Boy, excellent. <laughs> and it translates into four things. Absolutely. <laughs> That's great news. We've got news. a multitask in economic development. Fortunately, we've got a team that are engaged. It's certainly not just me that does that. Right, we've got, right. We've got a board that's very engaged. 
and uh, in, in the members, the, the other members of Sheboygan County Economic Development are all engaged on delivering these outcomes. Small Business Development Center has been very helpful in our, uh, in our second stage and in, in entry level activities. So uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a, genu a true team effort to make this all happen. Right, a lot of things going at the same time. I believe one of the most successful initiatives that I've heard about or that, the, that I'm aware of in the last year has been the Joseph Project. Can you tell us a little bit, bit more about that and how it started for people who don't know and then you know where it's go where it's heading? You bet. Well, speaking of workforce, that's that's what that's all about. And there is no silver bullet to address mm -hmm. the workforce opportunity that we have in Sheboygan County. So one of the steps that was developed and it started in uh, in the conference room on the main floor of Plymouth City Hall. Uh, and it was a meeting mm -hmm. that uh, that was held with uh, uh, one of our state senate, one of our U.S. senators, uh, a gentleman named Orlando Owens. Um, mm -hmm. I was actually meeting with him, trying to get them to uh, to support a grant that we were seeking for Red Raider Manufacturing, Oregon okay. North and, and, and South. And uh, whereas a senator doesn't sign a lot of uh, Senator Johnson doesn't sign a lot of grant letters or any. Uh, through the course of that conversation, that uh, free, uh, far ranging conversation, we connected on the opportunity that we had for entry level jobs. Orlando happens to be from Milwaukee. So from that, Orlando, uh, who, uh, who is participating in, in uh, pastoral activities, introduced us uh, to a pastor down in, uh, in, in Milwaukee, north side of Milwaukee. And uh, so Pastor Jerome Smith and other pastors, we brought them to Sheboygan, plus a few potential job candidates. And we did a tour of the city, um, actually of the county, and then we toured uh, several manufacturing facilities to show the kind of jobs that were available. Mm -hmm. It really opened everyone's eyes. And, uh, and so it's evolved into something that's, uh, their, their goal this year is, is to bring 400 people uh, additional people okay. through through the Joseph Project. It's expanded beyond Sheboygan County, but uh, which is wonderful because the mm -hmm. ultimate goal is is delivering the outcomes. People are looking for work. Um, the Joseph Project reaches beyond perceptions that people have of folks uh, in in urban areas. It really, through the church, we're ab absolutely able to find people that are interested in working, and things happen in life. And, uh, and so we found people, we found young people, we found people uh, that would be mid-age, mm -hmm. that are all interested in working. And because we have so many great companies here in Sheboygan County, these folks now have careers. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's evolving from it is, is some folks are interested in actually moving here. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Joseph Project has a, uh, has a transportation module to it where people are trans transported right. back and forth from Milwaukee. The van here. that says someplace right. better. That gets old, mm -hmm. and uh, although a lot of people in a lot of places have a, have a one-hour commute, so it's not it's not something new. Right. But one of the wonderful things that's emerging is is now folks have good incomes, they have great benefits, and they're looking for homes here to uh, to take advantage of the the amenities we have, and that's even helped trigger uh, the trailing spouse in a lot of cases mm -hmm. has helped tra uh, trigger additional ethnic entrepreneurial opportunity which is wonderful yes it is and and you know the the I mentioned the someplace better van um, the someplace better program that was launched by our two organizations what has it been now a year and a half uh, two years it was be two okay. years in January okay yeah. uh, it has really picked up speed um, I think we can ask the people who watch this show to do some things for us in that regard and I one of them always occurs to me and that is to go to the website someplacebetter.org mm -hmm. take a look at it go go through the jobs send a link to people that you know who are friends family people you know in other places and let them know about the positions that are open here because that kind of if we can get that kind of traction I know the response has already been phenomenal and I don't know what the numbers are now um, but that is the most visited part of that website is the job availability. And, and the thing about Someplace Better is, is it really is, is, is connecting with the fact that we do have something special here. Yes. A lot of people in a lot of places have, have special things. But if you 
if you've lived anywhere else, you know, you've seen the good, you've seen the not so good, and it really, having lived anywhere else, you know, and my career has taken me from Des Moines to St. Louis to LA to Seattle, I've seen some pretty cool things in, in, uh, in, in my, my lifetime. But, uh, but we have this foundation here that, uh, that really starts from the lakefront and then you roll the kettles in and you really, really don't find a lot of places that have that, but they have that diversity of opportunity. So um, I'll give you an example is, is, is my mother volunteers for a food pantry in northern Wisconsin where, where, uh, where she, she has retired to. And she, she said, hey, you know, I want to connect these folks with jobs, looking for opportunity. So what I did is I, I brought up a bunch of these little business cards that said someplacebetter.org and encouraged them to hand those out to folks yes. that are in a tough position you know, mm -hmm. in their life because we do have many career opportunities. Someplace Better connects you to career opportunities, but it also gives you an introduction to Sheboygan County. And mm -hmm. uh, it kind of gives you a good visual introduction to, to what it's like here, and then it also shows housing alternatives and you know and all of those Schools, different things. Schools, right. just it, everything. It Even answers right many down of the questions. Clubs. Exactly right. Oh. You bet. A lot, a lot of hands went into mm -hmm. to building uh, to building that, and it's a tremendous success that continues to grow. Yeah, it really is appreciated, and I I know we refer people to it all the time. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have the hardcover book which will start coming out again next January, mm -hmm. I think. We'll have a new edition already. Uh, so, so yeah, it's going fast. And our employers appreciate those efforts. I think they are really putting the website and the booklet to good use um, to try to recruit great people to come to Sheboygan County. Um, I also want to touch base on the programs that you provide so that if somebody's watching and they're thinking of starting a business, how do they make that connection? And then what happens when they meet with you? We, uh, we are very focused on growing those next generations of business. So um, we, we, uh, I serve as the point of entry for the Economic okay. Development Organization, meeting with the entrepreneur. And that entrepreneur might have an idea, I want to start a daycare. We're looking for daycares, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> or or I, I, I want to open a restaurant. Or I've got this uh, thing that, uh, that I'm manufacturing now out of my home and I've identified some markets, but I really need to blow it up. And typically engineers aren't as well versed in sales and marketing uh, mm -hmm. uh, skills, so we can help wrap, wrap that up. The other example is, is those next stage companies, and we have many of them in the pipeline. Uh, one that I can discuss is, for example, Three Sheeps. Grant Pauley knows, had, had really worked hard at his craft. He creates an incredible product. He also totally gets marketing. I mean, he he got all those things, and he got where he needed to. He knew he, where he needed to go, to uh, to grow that business to the next stage. So we brought in small business development center, built financials, laid on uh, the marketing strategies on top of it. Where was the product going to go? Needed capacity. The way you grow your business is added capacity, sales and marketing, and uh, and worked with him. We work with a lot of non-traditional finance uh, alternatives. So came up uh, work, working with Grant, came up with an alternative that worked specific for his business. And now he's absolutely kicking in that next stage out of the, uh, of the, the facility on North in uh, Sheboygan. Great example. Great example. Thank you very much for coming today and for sharing these stories with on us. On behalf of the EDC, thank you. Absolutely. So you can contact the SCEDC. And if you're thinking of starting a business, if you want your business to grow, if you want to move to Sheboygan County, and all kinds of interesting things going on there. So thanks, Jim. Appreciate you being here today. Thank you, Betsy. Welcome back to Love Where You Live. I am very excited today to welcome the winners of the Sheboygan County Chamber Champions Award in the service category for 2016, our champion storage members of the chamber. Um, this is the largest group we've ever had here um, because this business is definitely a family affair. And um, so really pleased to have all of you here this morning. If you would do me the favor of 
introducing yourselves to the audience. That would be great. Great. Well, I'm Jerry Fletcher, and this is my wife, Diane Fletcher. <laughs> and we are the owners of Champion Storage. And we have our two daughters that... I'm Jenna, and I'm in charge of marketing. Okay. And I'm Amanda. I'm in charge of handling customer service as well as accounts receivable. And as I understand it, these duties continue to get more and more and more and more as the company grows. Uh, I remember, I believe, what was maybe your second ribbon cutting, maybe the first. I can't even keep count anymore of how many units you have in your business, uh, but it is definitely a very successful and well-branded um, product. Uh, I'd like you to start by telling us a little bit about the beginnings of the business and, and how you got it off the ground. Well, the way we started, Jerry has always been intrigued by the storage business. Back before we even started, we'd be driving around different places and he'd always be pointing out different storage buildings and he just thought it was a fabulous idea that people, if their garages got too full or their homes or they were moving, had a place to temporarily store their things. So time went on and we decided, well, maybe we should look into this. So we started driving around different areas in Sheboygan County and first maybe looking if there was any possibilities of buying storage facilities. Mm -hmm. And then we soon decided we wanted to build our own, so we started looking for land. And so our first purchase was uh, six acres of land on Playbird Road and it worked out fabulous. Yeah, so with, um, with, with building our, our first building, um, we also had a lot of obstacles that we weren't aware of. Um, obstacles such as who builds these type of buildings? Mm -hmm. How many units do you fit in a building? What type of rates do you charge? Uh, there's a lot of obstacles that we had no mentors involved and basically we just kind of winged it um, professionally winged it, um, <laughs> if there's such a word. <laughs> you have a pilot's license? <laughs> <laughs> and um, also being involved with the, um, it's called the WSSA, Wisconsin Self Storage mm -hmm. Association. Uh, that helped us a lot as learning the laws as far as storage facilities, the do's and don'ts, um, and then also meeting with other uh, storage unit operators throughout the state of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. uh, that helped us enormously. And that was like in 1990, no, 2001, I believe it was, roughly, mm -hmm. when we joined that. We, once again, our first building was 20 years ago. Um, so we continue to grow. Um, we're a company that um, we're cautious as far as what we do, but yet in the same breath, we are aggressive. Uh, we look at the demand as far as what is going on in the community. Uh, we're extremely uh, we take a lot of pride in what we do uh, through, throughout. Everything from maintenance to our customer service is extremely important. Uh, once again, the adage is if you don't take care of your customers, you, you don't have a customer. So that is very high on our list to take care of is our customers. Absolutely. And it shows. It definitely shows. So it's a family business through and through. Um, as noted here with the entire family in the studio today. Did everyone decide to take this on together or did you have a bit of negotiating and convincing to bring, like, did it take some negotiating and convincing to bring you in? Um, well, I think I can speak for Amanda and I that it was something that was never really discussed when we were growing up. Um, so it, it just kind of happened. <laughs> um, however, growing up with a family business it was something that we were always around always hearing conversations you know mm -hmm. even though we were little we were in a sense a part of it and um, so it's not too surprising that things worked out this way mm -hmm. um, it kind of started for me my mom just kind of asking for help here or there like can you look at this for me or can you help me with this or just little things very sporadically that got a little bit more frequent and I think that kind of sparked something in her to realize that, you know, Champion Storage is really growing. Maybe I do need some help. And so 
how about you just work one day a week? And it basically snowballed from there. Yeah, very nice. And what about you too? Yep. I, I agree with Jenna. This was really never in the plan. Um, Jenna went off to get her bachelor's in marketing. <clears throat> I actually got my degree in hospitality management. Mm -hmm. um, so her her marketing experience and me working in mm -hmm. the tourism industry helped me grow with the customer service knowledge that I am able to bring to Champion Storage. Um, if you would have told me 10 years ago that I'd be living in Sheboygan and the four of us would be working together all day, every day, I would not have believed it. Um, but amazingly, it works out great. We all have our own opinions. We sometimes don't agree on the opinions that one another has, but we all have a high amount of respect for one another, and it just, it works. It works for us. That's great. Mm -hmm. Any advice for people considering a family business? Well, I think in that regard, we do have a strong family background. I came from a family business, and Jerry's been in business for himself his life. Mm. So we brought that forward. I guess the thing we, we decided is everybody has their own responsibilities. They both have, the, Jenna and Amanda have their expertise that they brought to our business. Jerry has, we all interrelate, but we all have our own responsibilities. So it helps us have our individual tasks that we need to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the utmost thing. Um, trusting each other, respecting each other. It, in any company, that's what you need. And mm -hmm. by having it be a family business, it's important. Family's important. We, we still have our family time when we get together with our grandkids and stuff. So you gotta have, a, mm -hmm. you gotta balance it. Anybody else have a comment about advice for a family business? Well, I think um, one thing that we learned is naming a company is important. Mm -hmm. um, when we first started out, um, our first <laughs> 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 our, our first building, be a good one. <laughs> our, our name of our company, Diane liked this name, it was called Chesapeake. <laughs> and she, her being in a family business, um, in a bike business, she wanted to name a bike with this name Chesapeake and it got voted down in her family that that was not going to work. So she had this mindset that our company was going to be called Chesapeake Warehouse. Well, it, it set pretty good for me for the first building or two, and then we had customers that couldn't spell Chesapeake, <laughs> which even today I, I have to take a step back and think about how do you spell Chesapeake? It's hard to write the check. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had a customer one day come in and ask if this is cheapskate storage. And right there from Cheapskate Storage, it's like, you know what, I think we got to change story. this name. <laughs> so we worked with the CH with Chesapeake and worked that into Champion Storage. So that's... And um, we were doing a website. We wanted them to be able to find spell. our website. <laughs> <laughs> so we to that's our Great one story. story. <laughs> now if somebody can kind of give us a kind of a capsule view of the the business as it is now and then the plans for the future and, and you know, just give that numbers and picture for people. We have, uh, today we have 10 different locations in Sheboygan County. Um, we're mainly based on the north side of Sheboygan, that's where the majority of our locations are, but we're very proud to say that we're expanding into Oostburg as well as the town of Wilson. Mm -hmm. um, our main focus is mini storage units as well as warehousing. So our mini storage units range anywhere from 5 by 10 units all the way up to 12 by 40s. These customers that are looking for storage units typically want to store household goods mm -hmm. as well as their vehicles. Um, as far as the warehousing, we offer anywhere from 2,000 square feet up to approximately 20,000 square feet to run a business out of or just store a collection of cars. It, it's really for, for anything. Very nice. So then our next project is gonna be, uh, we purchased in December a 20 acre partial between Sheboygan, uh, between Walmart and Howard's Grove on Highway 42. Okay. 
and we have some future plans to build um, a total of 18 buildings on that. It's going to take about five to ten years, we realize that, but this year we're going to break ground, we're going to have the site work completed, and we're going to initially put up three buildings this year. Uh, this is going to be a late summer fall project, and it's going to continue uh, every year as needed. Uh, and that's why I'm saying mm -hmm. this could be a five-year uh, program up to 10 years. Okay. So we're extremely excited about that. Um, we, I think we love Sheboygan. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I better get our, our ribbon-cutting scissors ready. Is that the message here? I think so. <laughs> I think that's great. That's great. We have a lot going on. We're excited. And you know, I, I have to speak from the Chamber of Commerce standpoint. You've been very much involved in the Chamber and, and um, have also worked with the SCEDC in, in building your business. You know, it's, it's, a, it's always a pleasure when you see people begin to participate and then come in for more and more along the way that is valuable to them. And you said after the show, you're heading over to. Um, watch the or be part of the Google Apps presentation this morning so that's that's very that's music to my ears mm -hmm. um, and so I, I congratulate you I I'm you know if you just spend a minute talking about that about you know why you're involved in the community and in the chamber in particular well I feel the chamber has been a big part of us being a family business it's been Jerry and I in the beginning you don't have a lot of resources of people to ask questions or bring to our company. It's a small company. Mm -hmm. The girls, it was great. They went to college. They, they brought in a lot of information. But as far as Sheboygan County and working with other business people, the chamber has been fantastic. We enjoy the focal point meetings in the morning. We go to as many as we can. And like you said, the Google Apps thing today, there's nothing that we go to that doesn't bring some information back that we don't implement somehow with our business. Yeah, it's it's a wealth of information. We like the after hours. That's the more casual mm -hmm. setting with uh, networking with other businesses and getting to know them. So mm -hmm. I, I think our chamber is fantastic. I think one of our big events, too, that we enjoy, the four of us, is the, the chamber golf outing. Uh, oh. This year, we're going to sponsor a whole. So we're oh, looking forward to that. Yeah. It's our 20th anniversary this year, so we are reaching out to try to do extra special things and excellent. So. And that's a way to touch base with everybody at the outing. So it is a great way to get your, and you can have a game or you can do something yeah. fun. Yeah. I'm sure that you're no fun at all. So <laughs> <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> and I'm not sarcastic either. Um, so it's been a real pleasure knowing you and also Congratulations on being the chamber champion in that services category. We appreciate that. That's a big Thank deal. You. It's the largest category that we have. So um, that came through your hard work and, and your dedication. So pleased to watch you in the future. Can't wait to see the new stuff coming along the way. And thank you so much for coming in this morning. This is great. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we appreciate you inviting us. Mm -hmm. Yep. Happy to be here.